Hi and welcome to this video brought to you by uh, Maths From Scratch. This is Column Method Edition Level 3. Now if you're new to Column Method Edition and you are uh, teaching yourself this from scratch, I recommend that you go and watch Column Method Edition Level 1 and 2 first before watching this one. Now this is Column Method Edition Level 3 and so let's just talk about what is different in this level as opposed to all the others. Now. In column method edition level two, we introduce the concept of what happens when the sum of one column is 10 or above. And we looked at what happens when it is one of the last columns and we have to write a digit underneath uh, an invisible column. So if I give you just a, a quick example, so if we do 24 and to that, we're going to add 91 or 81 rather. So four add one, is five and then two add eight is ten. What you'll what you'll see we're doing is we're writing this one underneath an invisible column there. Now column method edition level three expands on that concept and we look at what happens when any of the columns has a, a sum that is ten or above. So like with all of these things, the best way to describe this is uh, is by giving an example. So if we look at example number one. So we have our first column now, so the numbers that we need we need to add together are 4 and 6. Now the eagle-eyed and munched you will realise that this does give a number that is 10 or above, but there is only a space to write one of these digits. So where do we write the second digit? Now there are loads of variations on where you write the first digit. But this is the one that I use and I think it's the safest one to adopt, especially for when people are marking it. So it's easy to see where errors have been made. So four and six, so we know that the sum of four and six is 10. And so the thing that we're going to do is we're going to write a little one there, and then we're gonna write the zero of the 10 underneath that first column. And then what we do is we move on to the second column. So one add one is two, but then we need to add on this one that has been carried. So we would say that this one has been carried over to the next column. So one add one is two, add this one, gives me an answer of 30. And so this is where it pays to just leave a little gap in between each digit in your columns. So you've got space to write your numbers that you might need to carry. So that's example one. So if we have a look at example number two. So the first column, we've got 4 add 9 that we need to add together. And so that gives me an answer of 13. So then we're going to write the 13 like so. And it does take a bit of time to kind of see what's happening because that little one is uh, above and to the left. So it's gonna we're going to write the 1 there and then write the 3 there. Then we're going to move on to the second column. 2 add 6, that gives me an answer of 8. Add that 1 there. And so that gives me an answer of 93. And then if we move on to um, example number three here, we look at our first column. So two nines gives me an answer of 18. So I'm carrying my one and writing my eight underneath the first column. And then if I move on to my second column, again, two nines are 18, but then I need to add this one that's being carried. So we read this as, as in it's in that second column. And so that's gonna give me 18 add one, which is 19. And then because this is now a two digit number and we're finished with this calculation, we write that one underneath our invisible column. And so the answer to example number three is 198. So if we look at some more examples, so we've got two three-digit numbers and um, another set of three-digit numbers that we're adding together, some numbers in the thousands, and then we've got a number that's in the hundred thousands that we're adding together. So example four, so eight add two, so that gives me an answer of 10. So remember, we carry the one and write the zero. And then we read this one as it's belonging in the second column. So two add two is four. Add you one there, gives me a five. And we'll write that five there. Move on to the last column. Nine add three gives me an answer of 12. And because it's a, a two digit number, we'll write it underneath the invisible column there. Example number five. So six add one, that gives me a seven. So there's nothing to carry on that one. And then we've got six add seven. Well, that gives me an answer of 13. So we'll write the one and then we'll write the three. 
and then the last column, 1 add 6 is 7, and then add this one, and so that gives me an answer of 8. Example number 6, so a number in the thousands, so 1 add 1 is 2, that's fairly straightforward, 2 add 2 gives me an answer of 4, 4 add 9, okay, well this one gives me an answer of 13, carry me 1, right, the 3 underneath, and then 9 add 4 is another 13, but then remembering to add this 1, so that gives me an answer of 14. And then example number seven, a number that's in the hundred thousands. So this six and four here, so this makes a ten. So we'll carry a one and write the zero underneath the first column. And if we look at the second column, we have five plus four, which gives me a nine. But then I need to add this one here. So that gives me another ten. So we need to then carry that one into the third column and then write a zero underneath. Now this is your first experience of having two carries in a row. Now, column method edition level four is gonna explain how we go about answering questions where we have lots of carrying to do and kind of the thought process is to think about where we're answering those types of questions. So column number three in this one. So one add three is, uh, is four, but then add that one that's being carried gives me a five. The next column, two add three is another five. Six add one is seven. And then we have 4 add 6, that gives me a 10. And so that's using the skill from uh, column method edition level 2 there. So it really does pay to write your numbers that you carry in tiny in the column that it relates to. And you'll see further on down the line when, we, when you see the column method multiplication um, playlist that it really does pay to have a really organized system of how you're going to do your carries. If you get organized now, it saves lots of problems later on. And whoever's marking your work will absolutely love marking your work because it's so clear to see. Okay, so our practice question time again. Um, so only difference being is that you've just got to watch out for um, some columns that might need you to carry a digit into the column after. So have a go at those, pause the video, grab a piece of paper, have a go at those questions and I'll, and I'll see you shortly to go through the answers with you. Okay, and welcome back. So here are your quick answers for the practice questions. So answer to question number one is 97. Answer to question number two is 164. Number three is 1050. Number four is 1480. Number five, 12,407. Number six, 8,782. Number seven, 106,291. And then question eight is 10,999,545. So if you've got all those right, well done, go ahead and watch column and method edition at level four, where we'll just expand on this idea of carrying digits into other columns and there'll be some more complicated versions of those for you to try. If you've made a mistake on here though, keep watching and, uh, and I will do full answer walkthroughs for those eight questions there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Okay then, so here is the full answer walkthrough for these practice questions then. So, as always, remember, we're starting from the right-hand side. So, 9 add 8 gives me an answer of 17. So, I'll carry my 1 there, and then we'll have a 7 underneath. Then we'll move on to the next column. 6 plus 2 is 8. Add the 1, gives me an answer of 9 there. Then we'll move on to question number 2. So, 8 add 6, well, that gives me a nice princely sum of 14. So, we'll carry the 1 then write in the far underneath. Again, notice that I've left like a little gap in between each column, so I've got space to write my, uh, my number that I'm carrying. And then six add nine, well that gives me an answer of 15, but then I've got this one to carry there, so then that gives me an answer of 16. Question three, so four add six gives me an answer of 10. Remember carrying the one, move on to the next column, four odd nothing, or four add nothing even is, is four, add the one gives me an answer of five, and then four add six, that gives me an answer of ten, and writing that one underneath the invisible column. Question four, nothing add nothing is nothing, nine add nine gives me an answer of eighteen, and then four add nine, that gives me thirteen, but then add me one, 
and that gives me an answer of 14. So you can see again, method is really quick when you've got it off pat. Question five, six add one is seven, nine add one is 10, carry me one, two add one is three, add the one there is four, and then three add nine, that gives me 12. Question six, one add one is two, nine add nine is 18, carry me one, three add three is, is six, add the one there gives me seven, and then four add four is eight. So 8,782 for question six. Question seven, one add nothing is one, six add three is nine, three add nine, well that gives me 12, carry me one, Got the two underneath there. Four add one is five, add the one there gives me a six, and then one add nine, well that gives me 10. And then question eight, two add three is five, six add eight, well that gives me 14, carry me one, Right, me four underneath there. Four add nothing is nothing. So do do the column bit first and then add your carry. Four add one is not uh, four add nothing, sorry, is four. Add your one is five. Nine add nothing is nine. Nine again add nothing is nine. Nothing add nine. Well, that's nine. And then one add nine, and that gives me ten. Lots of uh, nines in that one there. So Hopefully you've seen where you've made a mistake on those. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and watch Column Method Edition at level 4. And uh, we'll see how we expand on some more carrying there. So thanks for watching this video from Maths from Scratch. If uh, you know anyone that, who will find this video useful, please um, share it with them. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.